A lot of people don't know that the uh, the National Organization for the American Society of Radiologic Technologists is right here in Albuquerque, and they have a beautiful facility out uh, at the mouth of the canyon there. Yeah. And uh, we've had uh, some of the folks on before, and we have two more here today, Erin. We do. So, um, Sila. Let me get your name right. Sila McIlvenny. 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 <laughs> and uh, Micah Kudlis. 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 Yeah. Well, we almost got it. That's welcome, almost. you guys. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> All right, you guys are here because it's National Radiologic Technology Week. Right. That's right. Wow, we're all getting x-rayed right now, aren't we? This is great. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, National Radiologic Technology Week is um, always the first full week of November. That includes the date of November 8th. Mm. Um, and it's in honor of or in recognition of uh, the discovery of the x-ray by a man named Wilhelm Conrad Redkin. Oh. He discovered the x-ray on November 8, 1895. Wow. So um, we set aside this week each year to um, honor radiologic there's, technologists, the there's professionals. There's the man himself. Yeah, Fouts Rankin <laughs> right there. And uh, we set aside this week each year to recognize radiologic technologists, raise awareness about what they do and the contributions they make to the healthcare team. Nice. This is quite a component of, of medical care, yeah, it and, is. and it's your job at ASRT to serve these people that are involved in this. These are people that work in x-ray, MRI, C right. CAT scans, CAT all that scan, stuff. Even ultrasonographers, um, radiation therapists are actually a large part of our uh, membership, so people that do radiation therapy treatments for mm -hmm. patients with cancer, mm -hmm. um, you know, very important job. Um, you know, anytime you go in for a medical image, it's going to be a radiologic technologist that's uh, taking care of you. So what's happening during this week? Well, f uh, hospitals, clinics, facilities throughout the country have educational events, in-service programs, um, poster sessions to let the public and um, patients know about uh, the role that medical imaging plays in healthcare. Mm. Uh, one out of every seven Americans uh, undergoes a medical imaging exam every year. And 70% of cancer patients receive radiation therapy treatment at some time during the, the course of their treatment. Mm -hmm. So um, if you've ever broken a bone or had a lung x-ray, anything like that, you've met a radiologic technologist. Mm -hmm. So during this week, um, as I said, hospitals, clinics throughout the country, they, they really try to um, raise the profile of radiologic technologists. In your business, the technology must be exploding. Yes. I mean, new stuff every week, I bet. Absolutely. I mean, you look at how often your iPad is being updated. Yes. Uh, I mean, I just updated the software on my phone this yeah. morning. <laughs> um, you know, it's changing constantly, and the same thing is happening. Your vendors are creating better, faster, uh, more precise uh, medical instrumentation. So our real challenge uh, at the ASRT is to develop CE, you know, continuing mm -hmm. education for technologists mm -hmm. so that they know how to use the equipment and they can do it safely and they can do it, um, you know, with the highest degree of quality possible. Mm -hmm. And how many people do you service throughout the nation? Uh, ASRT has 152,000 members. Wow. That's big. And we're, and we're headquartered here in Albuquerque. Um, there are about 320,000 registered radiologic technologists um, in, in the United States. Uh, and we provide a lot of services as an association uh, to our members. One of the biggest ones, as Mike mentioned, was continuing education. Mm -hmm. Because we want to make sure that radiologic technologists stay competent throughout their careers. Right. So you say registered. Is there some sort of exam, proficiency, sure. uh, test that they, people that do this have to go through? Right. Generally, a radiologic technologist will start out with a two-year degree, a uh, two-year program of some sort. Um, at the end of that program, they'll become eligible to sit for the American Registry of Radiologic Technologist Certification Exam. Mm. Um, that's a totally separate um, sister society of ours uh, up in Minnesota. Um, and so that's a board exam that they will take. I, I said Minnesota, like a Minnesota. Minnesota. That's where I'm from, <laughs> sorry. It comes, my accent it. comes out whenever <laughs> I say Minnesota. Yeah. Um, uh, but it's a, uh, the board exam, so they have to become certified and then they have to maintain their certification through continuing education um, as a part of their um, profession. Right. Now I heard that recently ASRT got um, some new, um, some new additions to your building, and you actually have a museum now in your building. 
Well, the museum isn't open yet. Um, we're, okay. we're collecting um, items for the museum and we're actually in the, the process of planning it. Oh, okay. uh, we hope to open the museum in June 2015. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it, it will be a resource for the community. We hope to allow school uh, field trips to come in and, mm -hmm. and uh, use the museum. And learn all the history and everything. Right, and it, 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 it's an interesting history. Um, you know, the x-ray, after it was discovered, um, almost immediately the, the medical uses mm -hmm. um, were, were uh, put to use for uh, not only diagnosing and detecting disease, but um, finding foreign objects and, and uh, for surgery so that you didn't have to do interventional right. things. Yeah, the picture that's up there right now is the first medical image that was taken in the United States at oh, Dartmouth wow. College, so um, back in really? the early 1900s. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, and do you have the, Dan, do you have the, the picture of the hand? Is this one of the first? Right, this is yeah. actually, um, you know, Rankin, uh, Seal and I have been talking about this lately. A lot of people will incorrectly say that the x-ray was accidentally discovered, and it really wasn't. Uh, Rankin was a physicist. He actually won the first um, Nobel Prize for physics for the discovery of the x-ray. Right. But he knew what he was doing. He was using the scientific method, and he discovered it. And like any good husband, when you make a discovery, you call your wife down. <laughs> this uh, image is actually his wife's hand, uh, yeah. Bertha Rankin. Um, the kind of blobby looking thing on there is her ring that she oh. didn't take off. Interesting. Her wedding um, ring. Her wedding huh. ring. And um, you know, this image, to kind of tell you how things have changed over the years, uh, it took about 20 minutes to create this image on a glass plate. Mm -hmm. um, so she's a very patient woman too and very trusting. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to take a look at that hand sure. and now we're going to show an image of today. Here's a hand not that one. The, the, the good, <laughs> right. Yeah, hand. Right. <laughs> right, so wow. there's a hand today, you know, and obviously we've gone through a lot of different iterations. We don't no, no longer use glass plates. We no longer use cellulose. We no longer use film. Everything is digital now. So mm -hmm. this is a hand done on, on a Very digital plate. There. And obviously you can see a lot more detail and you can see it immediately. You can see exactly what you're looking for. That's now, does AR, ASRT actually play a part in the uh, research and development as well, besides the training? Uh, correct. We do, we do a lot of research. We do research into our profession, but uh, for example, we're launching a big uh, radiation safety survey of all of our members um, mm -hmm. next week, oh. and we're going to be using that data to talk to our vendors. We have a... Um, an organization known as Healthcare Industry Advisory Council. So we bring in all the major vendors mm -hmm. and we'll disseminate this information with them and say, this is what we found. This is what people are finding useful. Um, this is how you can help you know, to keep patients safe yeah. as a vendor. And we have a, a foundation that funds research. We oh, okay. award research grants to That's people nice. in the community. That's really great. Now we have yeah. some, I, th I think that, you know, pardon me, I'm an amateur sure. at this, but uh, MRI or CAT scan stuff here yep. that we're going to show that you brought along. Um, right, this is oh a CT gosh. scan um, of, of the chest, I shouldn't say obviously, of the chest. Mm -hmm. um, the bluish things are the lungs, the, the heart right there in the middle. Um, these are the kind of uh, images that you can create through 3D reconstruction after a CT exam. So a very quick exam, it might take you know, less than 20 seconds to actually collect all the data and then the computer recreates this image for us and can show us exactly what's going on inside the body. Yeah. And then using the computer, if we want to remove the heart and look at and see what's going on behind there, we can wow. do that. This is an MRI scan here, um, so showing the uh, the different components of the brain in this case. Um, and I've been looking at a lot of these because yeah. we have a very large um, sectional anatomy series that, we, that we're working on right now. And uh, so that's kind of the new way of looking at anatomy, um, new in the last 20 years or so. This is fascinating. I know, right? it must be so exciting to see these new pictures compared to pictures almost 100 years ago, just to see how far every, we all have come. It's almost scary to see how, yeah. how, how, how we can see inside the body now. <laughs> yeah. it really yeah. is. And how safe is this now? You know, um, you're always, it's always a balancing act. Right. Um, you know, nothing is totally 100% safe, but um, you, know, you need to get the good images that you want. So it's always a balance between quality and safety. Mm -hmm. And that's really why you want a radiologic technologist performing the exams. You, know, you, yeah. can, right. you can create the best equipment in the world, but if you don't have somebody who knows what they're doing using it, then right. it's not safe. So. And that's why a big part of our role is advocating at the state and federal level for standards, educational right. and certification standards for the people who perform this work. 
um, we have a piece of legislation in Congress now called the CARE Bill, Consistency, Accuracy, um, Reliability, reliability yeah. and um, Excellence. And the, uh, the CARE Bill would set standards for uh, people who perform the exi exams because, believe it or not, in some states, you don't need any education wow, to be a radiologic wow. technologist. This is actually very fascinating. And, and we're lucky in our community to have the, the national office here. Yeah, and, that's amazing. Uh, a lot of people well, aren't aware of the work that you yeah, guys do. And we feel do. like we're lucky to be here. Yeah, um, there's a lot of good people in Albuquerque, uh, a lot of good people at the office doing a lot of good work for, um, for the patients. And if people want to learn more about ASRT, you guys have a, a website, website. ASRT.org. We have patient information on the website. You can learn about exams, common procedures, what to expect. And you're also on Facebook and Twitter, too. We are.